It is another wonderful evening with Ryan Tazler out on the river chasing the big ugly brown fish and I'm wore out and I didn't really want to come out here today and Ryan talked me into it. All he had to do was say, you want to go fishing? Yeah, he had to twist my arm real hard. Anyway, we're going to try to catch something big. Let's go. And of course, Ryan takes the best spot. Fine. I left you that seam and swirl. Whatever. That's what I did. You can justify however you want. Whatever lets you sleep That's in the best spot, right there. I disagree. Really? I think right at your feet. Right on that seam's the best spot. That's where the blue goes, John. That's probably a good place. Right? Yep, that that's it. You got it. <laughs> where did you get your hot shot shirt at? In the kids section at Walmart? I see a boat up rod. Told you I gave you the best spot. We have a stick! Look at, <laughs> Look at that monster! Oh, he's even nice enough to tangle in your other line. Right. Let's see if I can help you out of here. <laughs> you smoked him. That rod was doubled over! Your bluegill's still good, though. You gave me the best spot right on that seam roast. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give it to you, you just went and took it. Like you educated yourself. Dude, your 209 is all screwed up. Look at the crossbar on it. Well, I'll show you here. <laughs> it's supposed to be straight. <laughs> it's out of the pen. Well, I got four more at home. I just got oh, that's two. all? Yeah, you're missing a screw over there. You got a screw loose, bud. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's what, I, that's what I was looking at right there. That's supposed to be straight. <laughs> so the reality of the situation is I'm sitting out here with Ryan, and my beard's coming in nicely. I like my beard. The problem is the flatheads don't seem to like my beard. So I'm coming off of two skunks in a row, two whole nights, fish two tire nights from sundown to sunup with nothing but channel cats to show for it. And I mean, technically that's not a skunk, but that's a skunk. Anyway, if I go three in a row, the beard's gone. I'm not superstitious, except I am. So that's a problem. I really want to catch flathead so I don't have to shave my beard. But you have to do what you have to do. Halfway through September, screw it, I'm letting the beard go. Right now, it can be sacrificed in the name of the flathead catfish. Oh, the shiners jumped when your paddle dropped. Camera's on you, don't let them down. I like serious. I'm being serious about liking serious. Or maybe I meant sarcastic. I don't know. Yeah, I'm paddling up river. Waiting on Ryan. We thought about doing the float, but it's actually quicker to go this way. Not as enjoyable of a float, <coughs> a little more work. But that's okay, because we're chasing catfish. As far as tips for paddling up river, Tip number one, realize it's gonna be work. There ain't no way, other way around it. Step number two, think like a fish. Look for areas of reduced current, like paddle behind logs and stuff, and when you get close to them, cut off of them. And you can actually go across the river and find areas of reduced current. You're gonna paddle further, but it's easier to paddle. And that's about it. You're gonna work and look for areas of reduced current. Yeah, real complicated. See, don't have a beard. It's because I've been skunked three trips in a row. Two all night trips, one half night trip. And in Iowa, that's just the way it goes. Like, I don't give a crap how good of a flathead fisherman you are. You're gonna eat some skunks. Sometimes they're gonna be in a row. Sometimes you're gonna go through rough stretches. Just keep putting baits in the water and good things will eventually happen, I promise. Yeah, so back to what I was doing. Yeah, I'm a retail leader. I probably don't need to. But, you know, usually when things go bad, it's lines break. Sometimes hooks pull. 
she didn't get a good hook set, but to me it's that that line that breaks it really hurts. Obviously. Anyway, I do this a lot. Um, fresh leaders. And it really does make a difference. Is my hook sharp? Ooh, that's not that sharp. I'm gonna swap out hooks. Fresh hook. Sharp hook. No not snell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They say you shouldn't go over ten, but I do because it makes me feel better. I haven't had an issue with it. When I start having issues with it, I will go less. Give it a cinch so it doesn't come unraveled. Hey, how about that? Okay, when I tie it to my swivel, I'm going to tie it with a uni knot. And that's my favorite knot for heavy line. I could use a polymer, but it's already tied on. So this is my other go-to knot. And I usually do four turns. 50-pound mono, four turns. One, two, three, 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 three and four. Wet the knot, cinch it down. Pull it tight. And fresh rig. Trim the tag. Okay. Bait and in the water. Ryan is on his way. In the meantime, I brought a few bullheads. That one doesn't exactly look overly happy. This one does. He's got some funk on his tail. I don't know if they're just if I got some disease running through my bait tank. I think they're biting each other. You can see the scratch marks on there. Maybe I should feed them. Yeah, that one looks kind of dead. Well, he wiggled. He's gonna be cut bait. It's cool out. I think cut bait might play out, so. No bullheads are not my favorite cut bait, but use what you got. Ahoy! You that guy? Something like that. It's not a terrible idea. Only if you brought bait. Okay, deal. Oh, you brought a sleeping bag? Wow. Wow. I got cold last time, buddy. <laughs> I'm not that smart. That'll do it. <laughs> Where did he... What happened? Oh, that was that beaver. That stupid beaver. You are a beaver. And he ran it into a freaking log. What a loser. God. I was stoked. There he goes again. Oh, there's two of them. Of course there is. I'm wore out. Four trips in a row. I fished and have not caught a single flathead. Been terrorized by turtles, been terrorized by channel cats. So I decided in order to overcome that stroke of bad luck, I'm gonna go to a place where I've consistently had bad luck. Yeah, that's probably dumb, but that's what I did. So let's go. Seriously though, it's been a long week. Like, I just literally caught myself falling asleep. And then I hit a log and woke me up real quick. Such is the life of kayak fishing. I guess it's better than if I was driving a boat. I feel like driving a boat and falling asleep could be a little more dangerous than sitting in a kayak and falling asleep. What do I know? Not much. I don't even know how to catch flyheads lately. I need to get down here and get set up. This is a really pretty time to be on the river. Little baby flathead, like a pound. I saw his head poking up out of the water, and I thought it was a turtle at first, and it kept wiggling, like its tail was wiggling. And then I got a little closer, I'm like, holy crap, that's a baby flathead. He was probably that big. He had sores all over him. I wish he'd come back up. I'd go after him again. I got my little bait net, tried to scoop him up with that. That was weird. Never seen that before, but if you're on the water, very much, you'd say that a lot. Never seen that before. It's pretty neat. I'm running low on daylight. 
One reason I like to get down here early is because like it gives you time to evaluate spots. Now the crappy thing about being a kayak, looked at all that water and there's some stuff that looked alright, actually pretty good. And then I come down here in a location I'd rather be, but I need to find a place where they're going to be eating. And I'm not seeing anything. So I might get to paddle all the way back up river. Actually, I'd really love to be set up right now because sometimes you get that. That dude, that, that early riser. I like those a lot. Made it home for the evening. I'm going to get some baits in the water because it's time to put baits in water. So I think it would be a good idea to put some baits in the water, so that's what I'm going to do. And then set up camp and wait. Kick back, relax. Emphasis on the relax. Two bobbers, one on bottom. Unless I don't. We'll see. I love me some sandbar camping. Sandbar camping, sandbar fishing. It's comfortable. Ground's easy to walk on, no mud, or minimal mud. It's like silty mud if there's any mud. It's just nice. It's like a, a beach in paradise. At least my kind of beach. Imagine there's plenty of people who'd say I'd rather go to the ocean. Although the ocean is pretty sweet. I do miss that lots of times. How do you know the depth? You cast it and check. It is deeper than that, so. Oh, there, hit the bottom. So hopefully in theory I'll be able to pin a bullhead right there. That would be ideal. Realistic. We'll see. Yeah, there's more depth there than I thought there would be. I ain't complaining. And my other stuff's going to be in like three or four feet of water. Somebody left us some designs here. Or maybe it was an alien. I don't exactly have Primo bait. It actually reduces the angle on the line too. It's not ideal, but I think it might work. It'll work if it does. I got him, but I forgot to tighten my drag down. See? This isn't a bad fish. I'm eating bugs. Stay out of the logs. Oh my god, I can't see anything. There's a bug crawling in my eye. Got lucky there. 100% lucky, considering. Oh god. Got lucky, 100% lucky, all things considered. Forgot to tighten my drag down. There's definitely a bug crawling in my eyes. Been waiting a while for my buddy. This is my fourth trip, and my previous three I hadn't caught a freaking thing. So, went to a place where I haven't had a lot of luck, and un unfortunately, the luck changed. So, I'm pretty stoked about him because a lot of things could have went wrong and didn't. And in the past few days, a lot of things should have went right and didn't. So, it's funny how things ebb and flow. Yeah, what a fatty. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. I love these fish so much. They're so cool. They're usually super chill when they're, you know, out of the water. When they're on a fishing rod, they're not so chill, which is another attribute I like of them. Okay, release time. All right. Off the log release so I can keep my feet dry. Mainly because wet feet are cold feet. And I think it's deep enough here for him. Freaking 
cool colors. You ready? I'd say he's ready. Getting ready to go to sleep. When I go to sleep, I won't usually want to make sure I got some decent baits on. That bullhead's dead. I don't know. There must be like some funk in there. I don't know if they're just killing each other or if there's just some nastiness. Either way, it's not great. Well, I'll take that little guy. I mean, it's not big, but he's healthy. I can like literally feel the turtle walking away with my bait. Like, a little step at a time. That is dumb. Uh. And as soon as you come tied on them, they drop it. Because they're stupid. Well, I hooked it for the moment. Probably Gar. I've had a few of them. I've almost gotten to the bank. See if I can get him. Oh, I got him to the bank. Oh, this is gonna be fun. These things are hard to hook. He's actually, wow, I hooked him really good. I don't know if I'm ha angry or happy. Obviously not what I'm wanting to catch. Yeah, so a lot of people don't appreciate these and don't like these fish. Um, it, for a lot of different reasons. and I'm definitely one of them. I think they're stupid. I mean, they're, they're sure they look like a dragon, but they they just kill your baits and most of the time don't even eat them. That's dumb. At least eat your food. If you like gar, cool. I'm just not a gar guy. All right, let's see. You. Oh, he popped off. I can't lie, this is a pretty good way to wake up in the morning. Rod's over there. Had a rod down there. It's kind of funny, I, I always bring a tent. Not always, but pretty pretty much always. But I sleep outside, unless it's going to rain. Got the tent for bugs and rain. But when you try to, when you get a bite and you're in the tent, you feel like, you're like, a butterfly trying to emerge from its cocoon in a frenzied pace to eat food. I don't know, that didn't make any sense. Anyway, it sucks to try and get out of the tent when you get a bite. So, I sleep outside, give them the choice. But yeah, like the dew, the dew do get you, but if you have a, a good sleeping bag, it keeps you pretty dry. Yeah, I'm kind of just kicking back and relaxing. Enjoying the morning, letting it warm up a little bit. I got to paddle back to the boat ramp, which is going to suck, but I'm going to hit a few spots on the way there. I'm in no real, real hurry because I don't have anything officially planned today. I guess I should probably mow. My yard looks like CRP field, and I keep hearing pheasants. I feel like, I feel like that's a sign I should probably mow. I, I don't really hear pheasants cackling. Pretty much everything's packed up. I should probably get going. But it's pretty nice just sitting here. All right, I'm over laying around. We're gonna get a move on and I'm going to try to catch something. Maybe flathead. Maybe nothing, but I'm gonna try. Let's go. There's a frog right there. Got him. 
Looks like we have some more catfish bait. A little leopard frog, I think. Fishing, finally. Did a bunch of re-rigging. Got cut bait on that one. And we're gonna put our little buddy a little hook to uh, keep him active down there. He's probably gonna get smoked by a channel cat. If I had to take a, a guess. Okay, fine, I'll go mow. For real though, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go mow. Sucks. But I hope you enjoyed the video. That's pretty good snapshot, snapchat, snapshot of what flathead fishing's really like. You don't catch them every time, like, sometimes you don't catch them multiple times. And I mean, that's just the way it rolls in, at least in Iowa. There's, I don't care what anybody says, there's not, I don't think there's a lot of them, and I know that the regulations and I know the regulations are based off of population studies, but I haven't got straight answers on the questions I have from fisheries biologists. I don't know everything. In a lot of regards, I don't know anything. So, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, really appreciate you watching. Hope you catch a giant.